Premiere Pro is one of the best video editing software out there. You sure about that? But it does have its own issues. One of them is lagging and slowing down, especially when you have a bigger and a larger project. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can make that slow lagging Premiere Pro run like a ninja. Stop joking. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and find out. Number one is go to Premiere Pro, setting and click on memory. Keep a good amount of RAM reserved for your Adobe. More RAM is ideal for a faster performance. Second, you need to delete all the unnecessary cache file from your Premiere Pro and from your computer basically. As you use Premiere Pro over and over again, it creates cache files of your projects you haven't been using since probably 1945. Do you think that's funny? Cache files are good for the current project, but they're not good for the old project. They're just eating up your storage. There are two ways in which you can delete all the cache files from your computer. The first option is go to setting again and click on media cache. Click on remove media cache files. Here you can select how much cache you want to keep and how often you want your computer to delete all these cache files. For example, I'm keeping about 200 gigabytes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? By the way, my computer has four terabyte of storage, so I can reserve 200 gigabyte for cache. If your computer has about a terabyte or 500 gigabyte, you don't want to keep 200 for cache file. Decide your own based on what the storage you have in your computer. The second option to delete all the cache file is when you start your Premiere Pro, press and hold Option key on Mac and Alt key on Windows. At the beginning, Premiere Pro will show you these options. From here, select Clear Media Cache Files and hit Enter. Another thing that can help you speed up your Premiere Pro is the playback resolutions. Here on your timeline you see these options click on it and change the resolution to the lowest it's basically what you're doing is changing the resolution it's not changing the video file it's the way it's preview the way you're seeing it changes that and when you have a lower resolution your computer is not using all the computing power to decode this format and show you the video in a 4k file so lower resolution is always the best go for the lowest possible sometime you get about 1 8 1 16 or 1 fourth or half at least half if not full go for that thing another thing you should do is with playback resolution you should also change the pause resolutions it's basically the same thing when your video is paused when you're editing it should show you the lowest resolution of that frame and not the highest so right click on your timeline preview and select pause resolution change it to the lowest again whenever you're working on a larger project and in which you're gonna be using a lot of 4k or 8k or 6k videos even 2k videos you should create proxy files proxy files basically you're creating a duplicate file of your actual video a duplicate file would be like let's say 720p or 480p so basically you're editing a very low resolution file and when you export premiere pro will automatically replace that low resolution file low resolution file with the new one and you will have the option to export in the highest possible that could be 4k or 1080p to create proxy in the beginning of the project before you import any video go to file project setting and ingest setting click on this drop down options and select create proxy here you can select the quality of the proxy full half quarter and custom here you can also select the location where you want your proxy file to be saved. I usually keep in the same folder where I keep my actual project file so that I know all the proxies are in the same locations as my project file. So this was a way you can create proxy file in the beginning of the project. But what if you already have created a project and you have some of the videos which are like 4K and 8K and you want to create a proxy for just those particular file. To do that, you can just right click on the video and select on proxy. Here you can click on create proxy and the last thing you should do to make your premiere pro run like a ninja is click on this plus icon next to your timeline preview window from here you're gonna drag this fx icon down to your tools when this fx is checked when it's blue that means all the effects you apply to your video like Gaussian blur, volumetry color, or transform, or anything, all the effects on the entire timeline will be off. This will save your computing power so that your computer is not keep running those things in the background and causing your computer to slow down. You can turn this option off when you are ready to export your video, but if you're just working on, let's say, audio file, you know, or if you're working on the basic editing, 
you don't want all the effects to be running in the background. Now all these settings will definitely make your Premiere Pro run faster, hopefully like a ninja, but you also need a better computer for your Premiere Pro to run faster. Think about it, I'm using a computer that costed me $5,500. This is MacBook Pro 16 inch with M3 and 4 terabyte of storage and 64 gigabyte of RAM. That's a lot of computing, right? Over there in simple, what if I say? But if you're using a computer of about $1,000 or $900, think about it, it will have a performance of that much of amount because it doesn't have everything. If your computer is your livelihood, if it makes money for you, you gotta invest a good amount of money in that. Now these are the things inside the Premiere Pro that will help you to speed up your Premiere Pro. But what if you want to become a faster video editor? For that, you must check out this video because this will teach you some of the coolest AI tool in Premiere Pro to make you a faster video editor. So hopefully, I'll see you there.